There's an antique derringer. It has a two line address, which means it's written in two lines, which is the very first one made around, they came out in 1866. And this is how a derringer comes apart. <laughs> take the grips off. Take the screw out. Push that forward. Push that pin out, the hammer comes off. Push this pin in, the trigger comes off. Push that back. And then there's two screws here for your springs, which are usually rusted on. And that's about it. This is what the trigger looks like. It fits right here. This is the second one that I have for... Okay. So that's where it, when the hammer is pulled back, it locks in this little tab here. And when the trigger is pulled, it drops the hammer. This here, let's see, I don't know if you can see, but moves that and it locks the barrel. It hooks in there and locks the barrel in place. This is how the firing pin works on a derringer. This little wheel turns. Oops. This wheel turns cycles the firing pin up and down, like that, fires once on the top and then once on the bottom. You can see here where the firing pin hits. This spring here, right here, it looks like this, attaches there. That's the one that pushes on this wheel. When the hammer is when the ha hammer is pulled back, it pushes on that wheel and it cycles the firing pin. Now this is how the mainspring attaches to the hammer. There's a little hook, little spot here that it hooks in, right here, and that. Okay. This pin goes in to hold the hammer in place. If you can get it in there. A little tension on the spring there. Of course, to put it back together, you just do the opposite. This is the ejector. Goes, oops, on like this. There's a screw that goes in and holds it in place. Your grips. And that's all there is to it. Very simple gun.